OCE. It's the OCERN. Closer in. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? Hmm. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not ha! creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Please wait in line, thank you. Where? Where does it say wait in line? Oh, that sign. <laughs> Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Public safety stuff. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. I'll just take you for a ride. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for the ride along program. For more info, talk to Chief Brown at 373-1815. Talk to Chief Brown for information. Thanks for reiterating. <laughs> Restroom. Yeah, thanks. Too little, too late. Stop hunting lodge construction on... Fallon Creek. Ayad Diddy Beach. Still close for oil cleanup. Join the team. National Guard. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. <laughs> really? I think I could pull it off. Locked. Damn. Of course, it's locked. Guess we'll need to... Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. I assume they turn off the heat when uh, nobody's here. Where? Yeah, I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. Yeah. We'll find some other place. So messed up. I wasn't listening. Sorry. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Subject patient transfer 1026 2015. Please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred uh, uh, to the Correction Center on Monday, August 26th. Sutton and Becker. Oh, Greg's. Just leaving this out on display again. Greggs. Like Officer Greggs? One and the only. one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Huh. Is that like an- Shit! Stop touching everything, Butterfingers! Sorry. <laughs> Huh. Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah. So cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. Shut the up. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm. Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. 
then they're great. <clears throat> Yeah, it's my turn to bump into huh. you. Why do they look so familiar? You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? About the time you left. That's always how it works. She's going to give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work. Another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. Have a kick-ass day. Uh, enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitty thir bitter 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it. Hope you enjoy the spicy chocolates. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over 100. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Womp womp. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember- Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Hopefully this doesn't weird her out. What did I write? Hey Denise, thanks for helping replace my tires. Oof. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. This one locked too. Oh. No, but. Delving in the way, that's a fire hazard. Something's in the way. Alright, guess we're going upstairs then. Tyler, you coming? Slowly but surely. It's the armory. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yep. But I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. Don't worry. I won't try to get in. I'm not big on firearms. I'm aware. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown later. Fine. I'm my way, Tyler. I'm my way! Allison, hey! Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? All right, cool. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. Yeah, that's my bad. Sorry. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I wouldn't too. Hey, 
That coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? That is a good question. Let's find it. Is that it? That's the holding cell. Um, probably this one, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go in. The girl in the locker room. Anyways, big standings, Arctic puppies, mushers, little hoppers, snowmies, and lightning howlins. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Wash your own cups and dishes. How yeah, every break room has that sign, apparently. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? What is happening? I oh. can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? What? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now? No way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Guess I should go in too, huh? It's the first time I've been in here since... that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Um, sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Jeez. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. What did they lie about? I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. It was your idea to come in here, Tyler. Ah, that's what's stuck in here. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Wait, no, I didn't want to go out yet. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with Tyler, me. stop walking in front. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. Hey, sorry that took so long. NBD. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, 
Hey, you remember this guy? Of course. Kyler Ronan. The prodigal son returns. Yep. Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Uh-huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's gotta be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. It's never an easy You want talk. my advice? Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Yeah, that's not something we can help. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? I don't want to make this choice. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go.
I closed my eyes and just randomly picked. I didn't... What is that? What the hell? my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Mom. Mom, please. No, don't do this. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> What if there was something there that Tyler just didn't see that night? <laughs> Holy shit. Two days. Allison was disappointed that Tyler didn't accept Eddie's peace offering. 78% accepted it, 13% refused it, 9% threw the ring in the water. Allison was delighted to solve the princess riddle with her brother. 87% solved the door puzzle. 13 busted it open. Oh, you could do that? Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust of the store. 54%. Wow, that one was split. Tyler sensed the rift between him and Eddie when she sided with... Between him and Allison when she sided with Eddie at the station. 30% sided with Eddie. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. 47% didn't call out Sam. I... What? Just to empathize with the twins about Marianne, 23% didn't get an answer. What? That's not... Ugh. I'm in the minority. Eddie felt validated by Allison's family plea when she sided with him at the station. I didn't mean to side with Eddie. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Oh. Yeah, I was into it. Alright. That was chapter one of Tell Me Why. Uh...
hopefully you guys enjoyed that one and i will be playing chapter two next uh probably after another minecraft video or something who knows if you guys like this video make sure you if you guys like this video and you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button uh follow me on twitter i don't tweet often but i do tweet and follow me on twitch i'm looking to get back into streaming very soon thanks for watching see you guys next one